that's the part I can't place my hand. She recog she saw me and went back. Then why would she see and run away? But that's the thing I don't understand. Eh? Oh, are you sure it's not a ghost that you saw? Eh? I said I know what who I saw. Which one are my sure of? Because I have heard so many stories of someone who died here and go to another place and start living his or her life. But the meant we need to go to the village for clarification. Right? Yes. Okay, that's exactly what I'm trying to do now. Ah. Oh, maybe you saw it goes because. Girl, you sounded very apprehensive on the phone. What is the matter? I think I just saw a ghost. You know you can talk to me, right? What is it? So who? He came now. Did the same he came now, you know. Uh, I ran into him in a boutique a few minutes ago. But you know that's not possible, darling. I am definitely sure you were hallucinating or something. That is what I wanted to believe, but no. He was the one I saw. I'm, I'm you must sure. have seen someone that looks like him. You couldn't have seen he came now. You know that. So what is the problem right now? You know I warned you, but you didn't listen. I warned you about your obsession with that guy. I told you it was going to ruin you. Now look at the negative effect it's beginning to have on you. Didn't I warn you? <laughs> like, I don't understand. How can you still be mourning a guy after several years? Listen to yourself. Does that make sense to you? I am very, very disappointed, darling. That you traveled only to talk about a maiden. Not even a mention about how my wife and I have been coping in the village. By the way, who is this maiden? The one you know now. Which one is that? My girl now, Ozioma. The, the one you hated to, to see me with back then. The fair one. Oh, oh, oh. Are you talking of. Uh, Mazi Umeze's sister's daughter. Exactly. <laughs> so I want to go and see her. I want to go and see her quickly. I'll, I'll be back. Who are you talking about? Who do you want to see? You want to see? You mean you didn't tell him? Tell me what? You didn't tell him she's married. He was abandoned daughter. Got married to Ichio Obi's son. Some years back. From our neighboring village. Yes. Hey, wait, wait. Is she the one you're talking about? What what is she telling? What are you saying? I'm talking of Ozioma now. My own Ozioma can can wala la now. Of course, it's the same person we are talking about. She got married after you left. In fact, I am surprised that uh, you say you have no idea. Huh? Chuka. 
Ozioma is married. I need a contact. Why? Don't worry, it's very important. I need a contact. Do you have her contact? Take The village failure. There was never a time I stink. Anyway, it's me and I thank God for everything. Please, I, I want to see Ozioma. Ozioma? Yeah. Are you not aware that she's married? She's married though. Oh yes, uh, so I heard. So I heard. Uh, just that I want you to help me with her contact. I, I don't know if you were listening to me. I just told you that she's married. So what do you need her contact for? Of course, I know she's married, Uncle. She's my friend. And it's not a crime to call her friend, right? Eh, I know that it's not a crime. But I, I can't do it. Oh, oh, please. There is nothing wrong with having her. I just want to know. It's been a while. Like, I'm back right now. I'm meant to like call, how are you, and stuff like that. Nothing. It's just, it's just to call a friend. Mba, uh, Mba, Kena. I can still remember vividly how you pestered life out of her when she was not married and you traveled. Now you are back. You want to continue from where you stopped. Mba, I will not agree. If that's what you... No, know, just hold on. I will not be alive and watch you destroy her marriage. I will not. Ah? If that's what you're thinking, it's far from it. I just wanted to have Uzioma's contact and call her up as a friend. That's all. Please, kindly help me with the contact. It's okay. Let me tell you the truth. Hmm? I don't have a contact. And that is the truth. Yes, I don't. Oh, you don't want to give me? Okay, fine. Do you have anyone that has the contact? Uh, well, since you are insisting, you can go to the palace. You know the king is her father. Go and ask him if he has the contact. But let me warn you, she's married. Stay away from her, okay? Uncle, okay. we are not quarreling. I just said... Uh, okay. We are quarreling, but you're looking for contact from somebody who is married. I don't understand. You can go. Uh, you ah. can, you can. Is married. And she has moved on with her life. Is that too difficult for you to understand? She can stop telling me to calm down. That girl has something that belongs to me. And what could that be? You said you helped me get her number, right? Yes. Very good. So how do we work on that? I know a friend of hers that I can get through. But you need to tell me what's going on. I'm in the dark. I don't know anything. You need to explain. M must you know everything, Chuka? She has my gold and I want to pick up my gold. She has your gold. Exactly. And you, and you think that she still have the goat till now, after so many years? Achuka, the, the only way I can take a chill pill is getting that number. You need to get that number. That's the only way I will stop.
fine. Are you sure? I ask because you're in trouble. Does anything the matter? I just said I am fine. Did it? I know you were not expecting me. Come on, it's me. Kidnap. Stop acting as you do. I see the ghost is me. We all thought that you were dead. Well, I got arrested and jailed for a couple of years, but you know, God came through for me. I just did a few years in jail. Wow. That's a good news. Yeah. I test him on the rough. So I need Oziomar's contact if you don't mind. And don't tell me you don't have it because I know you both are best of friends. <sighs> Why? What for? Why? I can't believe you just asked me that question. Of course you know who she is to me, yeah? Okay, now you know the news of your death sentence came as a rude shock to every one of us. Especially to her, who couldn't take it. You know, she actually collapsed, was rushed to the hospital, spent weeks in the hospital. After a few weeks, she lost the baby. And I saw your fault. No woman could have survived the trauma. It was so heavy on her. You won't understand. You will not understand. This whole thing looks like a dream to me. I had plans with this girl. Promising plans. I had dreams. Missions that we both promised each other that we are going to accomplish together. If someone would tell me that after everything we passed through together, that she will see me and run away, I would never believe it. Chuka. I divided, not even divided. I gave her almost all the money I was meant to travel with to make sure that she took care of herself and the pregnancy. But 
you believe what I have said. What do you mean? She said Ozama saw the young man. Yeah. And up till now she has not made any effort to find him. Which means there's something she's scared of. If she lost the pregnancy the way her friend claims, then what could that be? What is she hiding? I I I don't think Judith will lie about something like that. We may come not predictable. I don't trust that girl. Her lips were shaking when she was talking. It can now. Calm down until you see us ever. Okay? Relax. What? You mean he came to see you? Uh, Judith, wait, wait. Are you sure about this? I mean, did you check him out? Was it really him? Ozzy, that was Ikenna. He's alive. How? What happened? Well, he said he was arrested truly and sentenced to death. But God intervened and he only served a few years and came out. Oh my God. Oh my God, Jesus. Jesus, I'm finished. Baby, girl, you're not finished. You are not finished anything. Listen to me. You should be worried about his consent for his son. But don't worry anymore. I already took care of that. You took care of it. How? I mean, how do you mean? What are you saying? Sweetheart, trust me, I already told him what he need to know. Very simple that you lost the baby. Oh. You lost the baby when the news of his arrest hits you. Good. Listen, but I think he should also know it. Listen to me. Hey, listen to me. As a mouth, as it stands right now, put everything you have with Ikena behind you and face your marriage. Ikena is in the past, okay? Or do you want to lose your son? My son. My son belongs to my husband, not him. Very well then, you're talking now. That's the spirit, girl. Listen, we have to see tomorrow to talk about more on this, okay? Be calm, don't, don't panic, don't let anything bother you. I've taken care of it, okay? <sighs> All right, good night. Good night. You had the miserable guts to knock at my door. You stupid fool. Sorry, my princess. It was a mistake. And that mistake would kill you there. Useless thing. Princess or whatever they call you, I have taken enough of your insults in this palace. I am the head guard and you should mind how you talk to us. We are not slaves. We have homes. How dare you? You speak to the princess of this land in such manner. How dare you? And who made you the head guard in my father's palace? You just spoke about slavery. Don't you know you are a slave? You were bound to save me. I will leave you and your father's palace. Since you raised your hands and slapped me, my God will judge you. I promise you, my God will judge you. Come back here.
We should school down and take ground in this palace. We have lost our mates and guides all because of attitude. She's my elder sister, and any time I try advising her, she ends up scolding me. You mean, would you slap my head guard and he resigned? Yes, father. And all that's her threatening to resign. Even the maidens. Where is she now? I don't know. Go and search for her everywhere. Tell her to see me now. I think we'll have to cancel this meeting. Uzuma, these guys are trailing me. Ikenna and his cousin. They think they want to use me to track you. It seems that it seems they didn't believe what I told them. Yes. No, don't worry, calm down. Don't panic. Leave it for me, I will handle it. Okay? I will make them believe me, okay? Bye. Hey, Olga. Olga? Go. I don't want to know what happened. But since it's no way for me to come back, would you lay your hands on my head guard? You must go and look for him. I apologize to him and bring him back to the palace now. Otherwise, you will see the other side of me. But father! Shut up and do what I ask you to do. I actually have your sister's number now, <laughs> but you know I don't have a phone yet, so that's why I've not been able to send it across. Huh? It's my fault. I should have collected it since, or at least any of the palace meetings. 
Yeah, Papa, yeah. I've been having a series of nightmares about Sister Ozioma. Nightmares? Yes, Papa. Could it be because of this boy that came back? Which boy, Papa? <laughs> Never mind. Eh? Um, I will go in now to give you the number. You know I can't carry it off and eh? okay. uh -huh. so try and call her. Even my daughter Odoka will talk to her also. Okay. Eh? So just wait for me. Let me go and bring the number. Few months after hearing about my supposed death, I'm hiring a stranger. Oh, we are there dating when we are together? I just can't place my hands on this. I loved her. I trusted her. And I felt that feeling was mutual. You can't believe that the thought of holding her in my arms once again after all these years was what kept me going. I was devastated to hear Uncle say she got married five months. Just five months after my departure, Chuka. Was that how little I was meant to her? That is why I have trust issues with women. Jesus Christ. Women love already made men. You hardly see any of them that will stay with you when the going is tough. Sophistication is the bane of today's women. And number one reason why many of them find it difficult is to stay with one man. I'm not surprised. She found a wealthy man and forgot about you. But you see this issue of your child. We must get to the bottom of this. We must get there. Hmm? you think we're following you? Huh? You are following me. You've been following me and you knew it. Do not try to deny it. He asked a very simple question. Why do you think we've been following you? Exactly what I'm asking. I've already told you everything you need to know. Why are you still then following me about? What because is this? you've been suspicious. Your attitude do not track with what you told us. You okay. definitely know something, Judith. And what makes you think I'll be hiding something from you? Then it's very simple. Give me her phone number or home address. I am sorry. I cannot do that. Simply because I have regard for people's privacy. I've warned you. 
and I will not warn you again. The next time you follow me again, I would report you to the police. Do not say I didn't warn you. Wait, wait, Judith, are you uh, are you actually warning me, Judith? Judith. Relax, I'm not being followed. I made sure of that. Do you know, I just had it very hot with them. Wait, you mean they followed you again? Yes. I confronted and threatened that if they try such again, I would report them to the police. Judith, the Ikena I know would not give up on finding me. This country is not safe for me anymore. Listen, I have to start making preparations to leave this country. I don't want anything to destroy my marriage. Stand. That's true. And you have to start doing that fast. Um, but for now, we have to stop seeing. I know they will want to trail me through you. So please, I I, I think we should stop seeing for now. Okay? It's fine, I understand. Okay. I'll be on my way. Alright. Alright, okay. Bye. On no account should you allow anyone to look down on your manhood. When next she raises her hand against you, or against one of the guards, beat her up! So, she will know her limit. That does not mean that. You should not accord her respect as my daughter. Or throw away her respect to the cleaners. Did you hear me? Has she apologized? Yes, Your Majesty. Go back to the post. Thank you, Your Majesty. you to calm down. I'll explain, please. You will explain. How could you give false tongue to a life that holds balance? How could you? I, I don't understand what you... Oh, don't give me that pretentious look. You told your friend to lie to me that the boy which is my blood died when I traveled. I didn't know she said that to you. I didn't know. So when you knew what happened, why did you run the first time you saw me? Why have you been avoiding me? Why? Answer me, why?
is going on here? This. Who are you? I am the nigger. You stole his son. And I'm here to take him back. You take a chill pill. I'm already helping you out with the explanations. My name is Ikenna. And she is my ex fiance. You stole my son. I'm here to take him back. You must be out of your mind, young man. Walk into my premises and lay claim to my son. Don't do it next time. I don't know who you are. Don't come back here. Get out of my house. Now. Not without my son. Get out of my house. Right now. I said, not without my son! Bro, calm down. We'll get to the bottom of this, okay? We're not here to fight. Hmm? I will not leave here without my son. But at least you know he's alive. Let's go. Well, you may look like Wall of Jericho, but don't forget it fell down flat when the children of God were singing praises. You were a man like me. You don't let that woman get in between us. You know the truth. That boy is my flesh and blood. And I will not live here without him. Not even God. I stand over you like Mount Sinai and look down on you. For I know that I will crush you the next time when you come in here. If you're on a quest for a male child, go to an orphanage, find one, groom that boy to become yours. Chidi is mine. He was born into this house. He calls me daddy. Please, young man, don't come back here again so I don't crush you. <sighs> Let's say I came in here unprepared. I swear with my life, I will never give up. I will take my son. Leave now, leave now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I am not living here without my son. Let's go. Let's go. Leave now, leave now. Let's go. Let's go. Come down. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not leaving. I know without my sleep. Bro, are you out of here? Ah! Ah! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Chucky. Go, go. Out. Chucky. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Out. Stay out. Chucky. Let's go. Stay Please. out. Go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go. Out. Come again. Out. Chucky. Go, go. Out. This is not the end of it. Out. This is not the end of it! You will oh, come for my son oh, and you will not stop me! Oh, 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 oh,
You know, I... I bought you a new storybook, did I tell you? No, Dad. I bought you a new storybook. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't bought it out yet, but I'll bring it out. So what I want you to do is go to your room, wait for me there. Okay? I'll come to you with a storybook and I'll read you. But this story is not scary this time around. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so I'll read it to you and then, okay? Catch up. Yeah, Dad. Hmm? <laughs> Alright, wait for me in the room. The young man you told me had died, right? Right? Yes. But he reappeared a few days ago. It turned out that he was arrested and jailed. And not killed as the news had it. Necessary to tell me. Tony, I didn't want to bother you. Honestly, I've been trying to fix things. How much of it have you fixed? I showed up here. What have you been able to fix, Emma? Tell that boy not to come here again. If he does, I am going to shoot him. You must have some balls to walk in here and start asking to take my son. Tell him not to come here again. Chuka, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You should have allowed me to handle this. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah? How will you do it? Kill them? Take the child away? No, no. But they have my son. Are you expecting me to keep quiet? No one is disputing that. They won't deny it. They won't deny it. The boy even have your look. But this is not the right way. Let's follow due process. So what's the due process? Take them to court? No, 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 no. no. Far from that. Far from that. Relax, bro. So come, relax, relax, relax. If I name maybe. <laughs> he don't see. That guy must have got some nerves to storm into your compound to create such scene. <laughs> Wait a minute. How are they did even find your place? I, I still don't understand. The funny thing is that I know nobody followed me while I was driving home. Only for me to get into the compound and he came in behind me. I can't even tell how he found my own address. This whole thing is causing issues between me and my hobby. He hasn't even spoken to me since that day. Oh my god. Really? Yes, and you know this... Oh, my phone. Hello? Oh, Chizaram. 
Listen, calm down, calm down. I, I hope there's no problem. What is it? Okay, I'm listening. Okay. It's all right, thank you. Not to worry, I'll send you the address. All right, bye. Who was that? It's Chizara. She said she had terrible dreams about me. I mean, for her to go to the extent of getting my number and placing a call to me. Judith, I'm afraid. I'm afraid something terrible might go wrong. The way I'm looking at it, a life might go down if care is not taken. But why are they suddenly calling you now? We've always been talking. I mean, she's the only one who regards me as a sister. Even when my father refused us to stay together. She sneaks out sometimes to give me food. But, oh, Judith, that is not even the issue. That's not why I'm bothered. I'm still worried. I just feel something is wrong for her to have told me this. Let me wait for her to come. I saw him the day he... He walked in here. And he seemed very determined to take him. He would have to understand that it doesn't work that way. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Opinion that you will consider. After all, the key the question is not your blood. I appreciate the fact that you always tell the truth, but be considered. What do you mean it's not my blood? Kid is my son. He's mine. What do you mean he's not my boy? I have been his father from the moment he was born into this home. I paid all hospital expenses. I was there for them. I carried him in my hands. I have been that boy's father. He bears my name as we speak. He calls me daddy. And you want me to let him go just like that? It won't happen. I'm going to protect him. Okay? I'm going to protect him. If, if it comes to me killing to protect him, I will do so. Funny. I do? Yes. You want to kiss someone over his own flesh and blood? Listen, brother. I would advise you to take your wife and surrender that boy. There is no need to fight. Listen, Benson, I don't know what you're on about. That tout that walked into my compound did not pay Uziyama's bride price. Do you see where I'm going with this? We're Africa have tradition. That boy does not belong to him. Tony, I feel your pains. But tradition did not say that that boy is not his child. He made her pregnant. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. He gave her half of the money he was to travel with to abroad. He made sure that the baby and the pregnancy were fine before he left. <laughs> Yes, he had issue when he got to our brother and was jailed. Now this same guy is back, asking for his own flesh and blood. And you are cooking up this story? Look, you're my friend. I would lie to you. If I'm that guy, I would do the same. Yes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>
Go! You got water! You got water! 